design, typography and graphic design, very, very important. Just as important as the graphics that you use are how you, how you understand type and use it in the context that's going to communicate your client's image the best. So we start out exploring type and letter forms. We do a little specific history on a certain typeface, and we use that typeface, one, one letter form there as a, as a design element. And then we talk about design principles, uh, typeface, hierarchy, contrast, consistency, alignment, white space, and color. Um, you know, which, which gives impact to how we use our design, our type design. Uh, we talk about visual hierarchy a lot, how to guide the reader through something by making certain things important and telling the reader where to look first, where to look second, design uh, visual hierarchy. We design a word mark, so a uh, uh, mark using words text only. Um, they do have, uh, they are allowed to put a little element into the text, but notice all of the iterations that she's gone through here in creating this final uh, typography image. And then we, we talk about economy of uh, using type to catch attention quickly. This is in a magazine cover. So not only is the graphic important here, but where the type is, which type, uh, which type base is chosen, how the type is presented here, becomes very important in the design. And then we do kind of a fun thing. This is just fi finding an image and words that go with that image. Like this is Elon Musk and he's got rockets and SpaceX and Ludacris and all of this stuff in to make a portrait of himself. We do a little six word memoir. This is the sort of a little something that describes your life story in just a very few words. I thought this one was interesting without going over my time, but this was neat. Once asked to write a full story in six words, legend has it that Ernest Hemingway responded, for sale, baby shoes, never worn. Tells a whole story, it tells a pretty emotional context. So that's what they need to do. And then they actually do this hand lettering and uh, digitize it and tweak it within the program. A trash polka style. This is kind of fun. This is a graphic and type combination that can be used in a poster and on, as a tattoo. And our final project is a Shell, Sil Shell Silverstein po poetry visualized so using just type, uh, expressive type, winding around and actually trying to create a visual with that to tell a story. And that's what typography will be like in the fall, MGD 116.